Hi, my name is Courtney and welcome to the vlog about nothing. My very first vlog. Don't mind my Urkel glasses. These are my blue light glasses. Um, I was sitting at the computer doing some stuff and I just decided to start vlogging. You know, why not? So welcome to the very first episode. You are getting in at the jump, which is really exciting, at least for me. So thanks for tuning in. You know, it's gonna be a vlog about daily things, random things that I get into, people I see, places I go, people I meet, things that I do. You know, typical daily vlog stuff. But just because of my sarcastic brain, I named it the vlog about nothing. So tune in. And because I wanna be a typical YouTuber, please subscribe, like this channel, and come back for more. So I hope you enjoy this vlog and thanks for stopping by. All right. So, Frankie Shop. So, I know what I ordered. And I'm actually really excited about this item. So I hope it looks as good on me as I want it to. Um, it was a recently like sold out item that they keep bringing back in stock because it's so popular. Um, I'm opening this box like a savage. But it keeps coming back in stock because it's so popular. And I don't need the box anymore. And I put my name on the wait list to be notified. And as soon as it came back in stock, your girl got it. So it's wrapped like this. And it says, hello, Frankie NYC. I love it. I haven't even opened it, but like I love the packaging. I love the Frankie shop. Like I'm trying to redo my wardrobe and the Frankie shop. If you don't know about it, log on to their website and just look at all the images and all the beautiful fashion on there. But that's exactly how I want to transition my closet. I feel like as I'm going into year 30 of my life in 2021, God willing, um, that's what I want my look to be. Just really clean, cool, very neutral, like not a lot of loud colors, very tailored, you know? And then like my off duty look, <laughs> if you will, would be more street style, the sneakers kind of thing. But when I'm trying to put on, it's gonna be more that tailored fashion-y kind of look. So, of course, what the Frankie Shop is probably most known for are their blazers. And like every cool fashionista has one of their blazers. And I'm one of those girls. <laughs> so yeah, here's just the packing clip. But I bought this giant oversized boyfriend blazer. Like, what? I'm gonna have to put it on the clip that I'll insert somewhere so you can see it on my body. But this, oh, like, I, just holding it up doesn't do it justice. But it's just a black blazer. And when I say it's oversized, it is huge. Like it was so ginormous in the model. And actually when I first saw this blazer, I was like, oh, I can go get this from the thrift store, which I 100%, no, 1000% believe in shopping at the thrift store to get basics like that. But the cut of this blazer, it's not just like a men's oversized blazer. It is so big and so boxy and so square like you can't like it can only be made that way there's no thrift store like you would have to get i don't even know what size because it's that big like it's huge like it comes on the frankie shop it comes in one size so one size fits all because it's that big it's not like brandy melville one size fits all like it's huge so if I don't insert a clip of me actually trying it on, I'll insert a clip or the picture of the model wearing it on their website and you can see just how square and how boxy it is, but it just looks so good on her. And I, like obviously a black blazer will never go out of style. 
So that's why I invested in it. It was a little steep in price, I'm not gonna lie. But I just felt like I needed this. I'm gonna have it forever and I want to love on it so much. Oh, I can't wait to wear this. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I need to like not hug it before I get makeup stains on it, but. Oh, and the thing I love, I thought my phone was ringing. The thing I love the most about it is it's good quality. Like it's thick. Like this is not a summertime blazer. Like she's heavy. Like the button detail on the sleeve. So good, so good. It's so big. Oh, like there's like a front pocket. Oh, like there's a pocket here. Like the material is heavy and it's thick. It's good quality, you guys. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. Um, I've never owned anything from the Frankie shop, so I've heard a lot of good things about it, but this, this, is, this is not fast fashion quality. Like this is noise. She noise. And I'm actually happy because lately, a lot of contemporary brands that have been making clothes that are pretty like mid-range to high-end, not luxury high-end, but like that contemporary, like Rag & Bone, Ola Johnson, like those kind of brands, um, the quality of their clothes like is kind of disappointing where you touch some of their things and you're like, bruh, you want me to spend $500 on this? Like this? feels like it could easily like hang up in a store and go for $500. Like I would understand this because one, it's kind of unique in the shape um, because of the extremely oversized fit, but the material that's used, it's so heavy and it's so thick and it feels expensive that if someone charged 500 bucks for this, I'd be like, mm, okay, I can see it. But I've recently like even, I've touched um, like an Alexander Wang piece recently and I'm like, no shade to any of these brands um, because I do love me some high-end clothes. But sometimes I touch some of these things and I'm like, are you really charging that much for this? That seems a little outrageous. So this feels like it's worth every penny, every single penny. I wish I owned because I've gotten smart where I don't buy those contemporary <laughs> brands and it doesn't feel like how much they're trying to charge me for it. So I don't own anything, but I wish I could like give you an example of like something that someone was trying to overcharge for. Like that's ridiculous. Anyways, that's enough about that. I love this. I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of sad that it's <laughs> so heavy because I wanna wear it now and I can't, I cannot because I would burst into flames, like spontaneously poof, combust into flames if I stepped out of the house in that right now. So, but thank you Frankie Shop, that is a banger, that, that's a good one. And I can't wait to purchase more things from you guys. Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher, it's kind of loud. But today is Friday. I'm dressed and ready for, oh, not dressed, I don't have my necklaces on. Oh, but I am on my way to work. Um, I sound a little raspy because it's early in the morning and I am not a morning person. And it's 6.30 in the morning, so. Off to work, there isn't much to say. I just wanted to say it's a new day. And yeah, I hope. Whenever you're watching this, that you are having a fantastic day. Morning, afternoon, night, weekend, month. So yeah, let's get this day started. All right, so I am back home from 
from work and I got myself some wine. I can't get it out. Uh, doing this with one hand is brutal. Okay. So it is Friday, even though I do have to work this Saturday, which kind of blows. Um, it's wine um, Saturday. So I am gonna pop this bottle and edit my video I filmed yesterday and relax a little bit. So yeah. Typically um, it's Prosecco all the way or Sangria. Um, love, 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 love Sangria. Um, but usually like when I get off work, um, Prosecco is the move. Prosecco is definitely the wave. So that's what I'm drinking right now. And then my snack is, I don't know if you've ever heard of Dirty Chips, but these jalapeno heat, so freaking fantastic. These are <laughs> so good. And they're kind of hard to find. Like I don't, I know a lot of grocery stores don't sell them, but the one by my house does, and I always like get like four or five bags. So this is my snack. I'm gonna drink my wine, and we're gonna sit over here and edit a video. So, cheers. surviving I hope that you're just feeling good and it's gonna be okay everything is gonna be okay it might be scary we might not know what's gonna happen next but we've made it this far and I honestly believe if we've made it this far we can keep going we have more inside of us to push past this uncertainty and uncomfortableness we can do it we can get past this i firmly believe that so let's do it let's get past this okay bye <laughs>